plant reproduction is much different than animal reproduction. In animals, a haploid sperm cell fertilizes a haploid egg cell to produce a diploid zygote all in one stage. Unlike in animals, plants go through a two-stage haplodiplontic reproductive reproduction system which alternates generations from a haploid stage to a diploid stage. These stages differ from plant to plant. In this video, we will look at an alternation of generations in a fern. When you see the typical looking fern plant, you're looking at the sporophyte generation of the fern. This generation is diploid, meaning it has two sets of chromosomes. On the underside of the leaf, you'll find the sporus, which holds sporangium. When mature, the sporangium will produce and release haploid spores. When under the right circumstances, these spores will eventually grow into a mature gametophyte, which is haploid, meaning it only has one set of chromosomes. This generation is much smaller than the sporophyte generation, and is mainly due to the fact that because it's haploid, it is much more vulnerable to ultraviolet radiation. The smaller it is, the less exposure it has to these harmful rays. On this gametophyte generation are antheridium and archegonium reproductive structures. When mature, the antheridium will release haploid sperm cells, which will fertilize the haploid eggs found in the archegonium. These two haploid cells will create a diploid zygote, which will grow into a new sporophyte leaf, completing the alteration of generations.